Last night, the government's carbon tax ads went to air for the very first time. Now the celebrities have gone, but the message remains the, the same. The carbon price will help us do more. It's not a tax on individuals. It's a charge paid only by Australia's biggest polluters. And the money raised will go towards our clean energy future. Opposition leader Tony Abbott says the ads are nothing more than taxpayer-funded propaganda and should be paid for by the Labor Party. For more, we're joined by political reporter Alex Hart. Good morning, Alex. How morning, has Mel. Julia Gillard responded to those claims that the ads are political propaganda? Yeah, Mel, as you'd expect, the Prime Minister has rejected them. She says that the campaign is necessary to combat what she calls misleading information that's out there already in the public debate. She also says that the government was open and upfront about this. It budgeted for this ad campaign in the last budget. But that doesn't mean this doesn't pose a political problem for the government. In opposition, Labor was highly critical of John Howard for advertising his controversial uh, reforms and policies, particularly work choices and the GS. But the Prime Minister said yesterday that this spending on ads is much less than what the uh, Howard government spent on work choices, about one-tenth as much. And like I said, she thinks it's necessary to combat what she calls misleading information. And she also gave a, another indication of the motivation behind it yesterday when she said that the facts were on the government's side. The government thinks that if it can get the facts, the facts that it considers important out to as many people as possible, it can start to turn the tide of public opinion in this uh, in this debate, Mel. Yeah, how else will they get them out? What else do you think we're going to see? Because this is obviously a broader campaign to win uh, public support, isn't it? That's right. That information came out yesterday that on top of the $12 million the government would be spending on advertising on TV and radio and newspapers, there'd also be around about $13.7 million more, I think, spent on another broader public information campaign. So handing out leaflets and brochures and setting up websites so that people can get their head around all this information that's related to the carbon tax. And the line that the government ministers are using is that uh, everyone that they're speaking to around the country wants more information about this. I have to say, different to my experience, a lot of people outside political circles say they don't want to hear anything more about it, uh, but there is a lot of information for people to get their head around and, and that's what they'll be getting over the next few weeks and months, Mel. Yeah, your circles are obviously similar to my circles, who are saying enough already. <laughs> Tony exactly. Abbott, though, meanwhile, is using all of this um, to call for an election on carbon tax. Is he going to get a lot of support for that? I know he's up in the polls. He's well and truly up in the polls. That poll this morning in the Nielsen, the Nielsen poll, the first major poll since this tax was announced, is an absolute shocker for Labor. But uh, he's not getting a lot more support for his election call other than from coalition MPs and also some business leaders and perhaps the public in that poll. But there's not going to be one. The government and the independents and Greens will ensure that's not the case. Uh, but you see, uh, this debate... This phony campaign will continue, I guess, over coming weeks, even though there won't be an election at the end of it. Uh, in addition to the government's ad campaigns, campaign, it looks like the uh, group set up called the Australian Trade and Industry Alliance will launch its own anti-carbon tax campaign in the coming weeks. And that's backed by the Minerals Council, I believe, and also the Coal Association. We saw how effective their campaign was against the mining tax. So it could be an all-out all out tax war coming up, Mel. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Spit it out. Can hardly wait. All right. Thanks, Alex, very much. Good to talk to you. See you soon. You too. Now here's Koshi.